I asked your teammates to uh, oh. to describe you in a couple of words. Uh, firstly, as a person, some of the words they used was gentle, caring, humorous, and humble. <laughs> then I asked him twenty first speech. Then I asked him to describe you as a cricketer, and this time their answers were: he's a leader, he's a genius, he's a pioneer, and he's an artist. What does that mean to you for those sort of kind of compliments to come out of the guys who you lead on a daily basis? Oh, you might have caught them on a good day, perhaps. I don't know, I guess the opinions can vary. Um, no, I mean, in terms of leadership, we, we have a number of good leaders in the group and, um, you know, they're instrumental in, in helping the team move in the right direction and sort of keeping the environment honest. And, you know, if it wasn't for a number of leaders in the group, you know, we certainly wouldn't be tracking how we are. But um, it's, a, as you know, an ever-evolving piece and the challenges keep coming thick and fast and um, the guys are all looking forward to the challenge over here. The stats that don't matter to you, to, to you, is it more, obviously you're governed by, or you're judged on your win-loss ratio, but is it more than that? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think the, the stat thing is, you know, obviously it's after the fact. For me, anyway, it's, it's, it's about playing the game the way that I want to play it. You know, someone wise once said to me um, that, you, you know, you want, to, you want to play the game having left it in a better place and perhaps cross the street to maybe catch up with some former teammates at a point in time. And the stats and the drive for an individual, the individual pursuit for those, I think, sometimes gets in the road of that mindset. And um, I know in cricket, they're, they're always sort of hovering around and people are like, well, now you and, and the role that you have enjoyed talking perhaps about some of those things but um, they're very much secondary um, in my mind or or even further down the, the pecking order. About 29 is still pretty young for a cricketer even though you've been around for a long long time you've had the, that young. had the stripes for a long time but um, you see yourself having a, a longer a long career into late into your 30s you definitely, I mean, enjoying what you do is really important. I think as you as you keep going and keep learning and trying to develop, um, some of your motivations can can change and shift. And I guess being in a leadership role, you know, a lot of your focus is very much, you know, what's around you and and how the team's tracking. And, and then as you get a bit older and talk to wise heads like yourself and other people that you know, have played long careers and, and tried to get understanding of, of how it all works because it does change a bit. You, you start off and, you know, you're young and budding and these sorts of things and then you, you perhaps play for a period of time and, and you know, everything just changes a little bit and you're trying to make sense of it all. But, yeah, fortunate to, to be involved with uh, such a good group of guys and, um, you know, who are also enjoying their cricket. What would it mean to your team to walk away with success at the end of the series? Yeah, I mean, it would be uh, amazing and... Obviously, it's uh, a lot of cricket away, and the, the focus, you know, for our group is sort of one day, one session, one period of play at a time, and keep trying to break it down like that. And the end point will sort of be what it will be. But we know it's um, it's always tough when you come here, and yeah, it is about bringing the focus just back to the sort of cricket that that we want to keep playing, um, the behaviours that we want to um, make sure are there day in day out um, that give us the best chance of success.